G'day Swans fans, welcome back to Volkswagen Ask, Ask a Swan. We're here with our third guest of the year, Alex Johnson, and we'll uh, jump straight in. I know all of you have been... <laughs> no worries, I know everyone's been dying to have him in. I haven't. Alright, <laughs> first question from Jenky28. How did it feel when all your teammates came in to cheer you on running laps on their day off? It must have felt amazing. Yeah, I mean the support I've had uh, throughout the last four years has been, been unbelievable and and for the boys to come down and uh, see my first run in you know, over two and a half years was, was pretty special. And you know, obviously boys like to stay away on their day off, but yeah, the fact that they came in and supported me was, was good. I was running with you and I actually lapped him and I've never been booed running a lap, but I got booed that day. <laughs> uh, next question <laughs> from, these are tough names. Eben and Mezina. Eben and Mezina? Yeah, that was That's good. Right. Eben and he... Ebony Mazina. Ebony Mazina. Oh, sorry. We got there. What are you most excited about coming back to footy? And she hopes to see you back soon. Oh, thank you very much, Ebony. Uh, yeah, I just just playing with my mates. I suppose I've I've really missed footy over the last you know, four years. It's been it's been a uh, been a really long and, and hard time since I last played. But yeah, I'm just looking forward to playing again and that that feeling of, of winning and, and competing with my mates and. Just everything there is to love about footy, that's that's what I've missed and can't wait to get back out there hopefully soon. Can't wait either. Nick Newman is the next one. Probably yeah, Nick Newman. <laughs> How much money have you spent in one sitting at KFC? I'm not sure where Nick's actually going with this, but I uh, I do believe he was there and there were probably four or five of us there. It was, it was in the off season of course because we don't have KFC during the year, but yeah, I think it was close to $200 um, and yeah. Who ate most of it? I'd say probably Nick. I mean, he's known as, as fat around the club, so it was Doesn't surprise. Really. <laughs> uh, next question from Jeva Lovett, 731. What has kept you going all these years, and do you feel like you're about to play your first game back this year? Uh, yeah, I suppose what's kept me going is just, just football in general, really. I grew up absolutely loving the game and, and loving what footy, football was about, so that's kept me going. The, the obviously success of the premierships kept me going too. Or, I really want to get back there and, and taste that success again, and um, yeah, it does. It does feel like I'm I'm getting closer to, to playing a game again, and yeah, you know, I'm really excited. Hopefully, that happens within the next couple of months. All right, next one is from C under slash Bird with two eyes. Why do you scream, right. <laughs> Craig Bird? Potentially, maybe. I don't know. Why do you scream at people instead of talking normally? Thanks, Craig, for your question. It's good to see you. Uh, Still having input in the uh, in the Sydney culture out here. Um, yeah, I suppose I've, I'm known as a megaphone around the club. I'm probably the loudest at the club, and I think I get more out of people by screaming at them than I do talking normally. So that's what I that's what I tend to go for. Good reactions. Uh, Machog underscore M2. What was it like having Reece Shaw's number handed down to you after he had mentored you for years? Yeah, it was it was pretty special. Uh, obviously, you know I was I was originally 34 when I first got to the club, but when Shorey hung the boots up, he, he asked me to carry on his number of, of number two, which is yeah, it was it was really special. He's he's uh, he's been unbelievable for me, especially my my early couple of years, you know, playing footy, and then especially over the last few years, he's been he's been amazing in keeping me going and and keeping me focused on on my goal of returning to playing. So, you know, I'm really looking forward to to running out in the number two and, and representing Shorey. And last question from Crayfish35. Is, familiar, <laughs> yeah, there is. is Olympic diver Matthew Mitchum your long lost twin? Yep. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, that's all the questions for Volkswagen Ask Us One for this week. Thanks, Jono, for coming along and thank you all for the questions. We'll see you next time.